Eric uh, was a senior in the College of Natural Resources. He's, he was from Fitchburg, majoring in wildlife. Tragically, Eric passed away this past March. While he was a student at Stevens Point, Eric connected with many of our students and faculty members. He was the co-founder of the Rough Grouse Project for the Wildlife Society as an example under the direction of um, our wildlife professor, Jason Riddle. Eric loved travel, and one of the trips that he took was to Costa Rica as part of a study abroad program. His friends, family, and fellow students have started a memorial fund in his honor, including two actually, one uh, to fund research that the Wildlife Society is doing, and one to sponsor other students who want to go on the Costa Rica trip. In the hours and days immediately following Eric's death, the students and faculty of the College of Natural Resources and of the biology department began circulating photos and stories about Eric. The picture that emerged was one of a handsome, humorous, loving, caring young man. His passing left a gaping hole in the CNR and in the UWSP family. In honor of his accomplishments at UW Stevens Point, the faculty of our college has recommended that Eric Duffy be awarded the Bachelor of Science degree. And it's my honor to present this posthumous degree on behalf of the faculty to his parents, Darren and jo Joan Duffy. We extend our congratulations. <laughs> At this time, we'd like to invite you to say a few words. Thank you so much. This is, a, this is a great honor. Thank you so much. What is it like to hold a wild bird in your bare hand? What is it like to camp in the rainforests of Costa Rica? What is it like to sleep under the stars in the deserts of New Mexico and the mountains of Arizona? What is it like to take a renewal renewable energy class and after being educated on the subject, know that you and just you alone can make a difference in this world. These are questions that I don't have the answers to because I did not have the privilege of attending the UW Stevens Point. But our son Eric, or Hank as most of you called him, did. Our son loved this city. He called it his home. He loved his friends here. He called them his family. He loved his professors, he called them his heroes. And he loved this institution that molded and shaped his dreams into a reality. These dreams were not easy to achieve. It took hard work, dedication, and a commitment to self. If receiving the degree that you all hold today was easy, everybody would do it. It's not easy, it's not supposed to be. Eric took advantage of every opportunity. He put forth curiosity, ideas, and extreme effort to participate. Participation in life and the opportunities that come your way is the key to making the most out of every day. Eric took advantage of each day with gusto and delight, and he did not complain or get agitated. He just did. He may not have always been the best in the class, but he had the most heart and that is always recognizable to others, and it's rewarded with things like friendship, smiles, and happiness. Eric would most definitely want you all to go out and participate in your life. Show up with a smile and put forth effort. This way, you will be assured of greatness. Eric would lift up this diploma today with the greatest of pride, knowing it was well-deserved, deeply cherished, and say, I could not have done this alone, not without the support of my friends, which became my family, my professors, who became my heroes, and this institution that became my dream, and my family, 
my grandma Betty, who supported me through the triumph today of becoming a college graduate of the U University of Wisconsin Stevens Point, a hu huge honor. Congratulations to you, Eric, and congratulations to all of you. Go forth, conquer, and never forget to participate in life. Thank you. Thank you, Duffy's, very much for the courage that it took to come and participate with us today. Uh, Ching Wei said it, Jim Kurth said it, and now I'm going to say it. Once a pointer, always a pointer. And we hope that you know that you're part of our pointer family forever. Thank you.